Good morning, everybody. Tuesday morning, we're here pouring this floor. We were supposed to pour it yesterday, but it rained. So we're back today. Luckily, we got concrete for it. At least get the house done. We got a garage slab we're doing up there. We'll do that next Monday for the earliest we could get treat. But getting this house done is key for us. Just want to keep keep the jobs moving. We got a lot of jobs going on right now. Using these grade pins today. So we set, we drive that rebar in and we move the grade pin, the bottom of the grade pin up and down depending on what the grade is. We're using the laser. And then we can use those to go by as we as we pour the concrete floor. I get one more. I'll show you the box of them. Just a little bit more convenient way to pour your concrete. So here's the box right here. It comes in a box. You get quite a few in a box. It's called Crete. Crete Pin Pro. Made in the USA. And again, you know, they're used they're used for just shooting grades, setting your grades as you're pouring concrete. How does it feel? Cool still? Oh yeah. Yeah. The homeowner set this drain, so usually when we set them, we'll tape them. I guess we could have taped this one, but I just just kind of forgot about it. We'll make sure it's nice and clean, though, after we get done finishing today. So when I shoot my grades in a basement like this, and we're matching the top of the wall, we're matching the top of the wall, so I, uh, I set my laser up and I make my mark, same as top of the wall all the way around, and we'll snap this chalk line. And then when I get to this corner, I drop my mark just about a quarter of an inch, so this corner slightly slopes this way because there's a floor drain here. Then the floor drain's about three quarters of an inch lower than the, than the red mark, so everything kind of slopes to the drain in the, in the basement. But, oh, yeah. All right, it's going pretty good. Want it? Second cart just showed up. We'll get him mixed up. Move this over out of the way, get you a little different angle. So he should definitely go maybe a little bit more than halfway. That joint in the wall is halfway. Let me give us a minute for you, Mix. Yeah. 
and that's how you use the free pin pro to set your grade and then you just pull it out and that's your grade right there and we'll wash that up get it cleaned up after How are we doing today? Good little drive for you? Yeah. It's about an hour. What are you driving? One of the new ones? You like it? Alright. They told me I could drive it for the summer, but now they sold them. Oh, are they going to give them back to McGee? You're going to go to McGee when he takes over? Well, when we're local. Because it's only a mile from my house. Like, like if I was right here, it's it's probably 45 minutes for them from Monmouth, and it's an hour for you. Yeah. So it's like, well, if I can get Kenny, I'll get Kenny. Yeah. Or if I can get McGee, I'll get McGee. It kind of depends on who's busy, right? Sucks. Sucks that you're getting rid of the new trucks, but... Yeah, you know, I know. All we have is trucks that are breaking down every week. And... Did you have a front dump before? I, I still do. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, I have, I have a front down, but yeah. in the shop being fixed. Oh. What a maintenance. Yeah, I still want to make. Still want to make. Yeah. If you want to get close to getting in place, you could back right there, yeah. then we'll throw them bags in you. Right. Right. <laughs> Uh, maybe we can try him screeding towards the end. Yeah. Let's at least get this truck down. Ooh, it's getting warm out now. I don't know how you guys work the sweaters. As soon as they got here, we started moving around. <laughs> I run fairly hard. He, he does too. Yeah, I'm sure he He'll be like that in the winter. Not me though. That's good. He wants that little roll you got going right there. It's perfect. All right. Nothing higher than that, though. Yeah, see those gaps? Yeah. We gotta have Crete there. Okay. So as soon as you start seeing a gap, push it in. Push it in, but lightly. Like don't like don't don't hurry to do it. Yeah. Just give him some. Crete, and then step back and fill that hole like this. Whew. Good job. Yeah, I had a little bit splatter. Sorry. Let's go get that other side. Thank you, Tyler. Yeah. As you start now, you're going to be a little high. So yeah. don't go right up to it, but right about yeah. here. Yeah. Just pull it into it. Juke that a little bit. Yeah. Now it's going to start getting low right there. Yeah. There you go. Nice and neat. Yeah. Don't push yeah. too hard. Just 
Nice little just, just push the top. Gonna get low right there. I got doesn't look too bad. Probably let it mix and I'll take a look at it. Yep. May end up giving it a little bit, but All right. pretty close. And over, I'll pour that bay out, get off his edge, if you don't mind, and then I'll back it back up a little bit. Probably pour that out, get it treated off, make sure you start setting up a little bit. Right. Each plant gets their sand and their stone maybe from a different pit somewhere, yeah, right. so sometimes they feel a little different, even if it's the same mix design. Okay, yeah. yeah, when it first came out, I mean, you've been looking at it really choking. Yeah. Some companies will some companies will blend the stone for us, so they'll put half three quarter inch stone and half three eighth stone. We call that a blended mix. We like that mix. Is that more like a binder kind of finds in there with it, or uh, yeah, there's always that. There's always that, but mostly it's either three quarter stone mix or three eighth stone, which they call pea stone. Yeah. This company only does the three eighths or the three quarter. The other company with the Red Cross Auburn. They'll blend it together for us, kind of make it a little more friendly for yeah. us. That's probably why it feels heavier too. I'd go 10 more. We just pull it out, yeah. So we pour this bay out, get it screened in, and we'll do that one. Want me to just push it with you guys? Woo! Huggy right now. I love it. I appreciate it, man. This is fun. I'll tell you when to go, okay? We got quite a bit of pulling to do still. I'm gonna back you up just a little bit. He's just trying to help, but that's yeah. all. Be careful of that chute, he don't move it, okay? Alright. Sometimes these guys want to move them quite a bit. You pull them ahead. Yeah. 
Good. Go, big boy. Good. Coming back that way, yeah. I'm gonna back him up. We're gonna hold up. Over here too? Yeah, we'll do that too. Where a shoot goes. I see how far your shoot will go over there. We feel like we're a little bit low. Coming your way. Coming your way. Yeah. Lock it. Just a little bit, please. Whew. Warm now. Just buggy. That's pretty good, you want another one? Uh, I, think I should do it. Yeah, I'll give it a little bit. Just a couple gallons. A couple gallons? Yes, please. Alright, things are going pretty good. Pretty warm and muggy out today, really, for May. It was only in the 50s this morning, but it feels really warm now. Plus, it took, it took concrete a little over an hour to get here from the concrete plant. Concrete's a little warm. We got her up. We almost got her. Good! Hold him up! Look really high in here. I'm gonna have him unlock that chute and you can move it over a little bit. I'm then I'm gonna have it. Move it over. I'll tell him and then I'll have you grab it. And then I'm gonna have him pull ahead because we got plenty. Okay. Go ahead and unlock your chute. I'll pull you right out. We got plenty in there. You can just wash out over here somewhere.
Watch that shoot, watch that behind you, yep. He's gonna pull ahead and go ahead and wash the chutes. Okay. I'm gonna try magging to the chalk line for a minute. Yeah. See what that feels like. All right, so we'll just do it together, okay? So when I see it like that, I just kind of yeah, it towards vibrate it in. I don't want to try, I try not to cover it, just getting it even, right? If I'm a little high, I can pull some back like that. And then once I get it to this state right here, Joe, now I'm just going to run that over it like that, and that's done. That's my that's grade. Right. Pretty, about as easy as that. Yeah. It's just critical to get it right on, right? Because you don't want dips and humps in the floor. <laughs> you got a little friend there popped up. Yeah, he got out of concrete just in time. <laughs> My daughter'd be freaking out right now. No, I love. I think the prep work. I'm all about the attention to detail. And everybody. Oh, he likes you. Luke would be freaking out. <laughs> no, it's not even they don't bother you. No, snakes. No. Don't like snakes. You don't like snakes. No, I don't care. Uh, I they don't bother me. They gotta eat too. Hey, my stepdaughter keeps catching fire. If you don't mind, I'm just going to check what you did after, yep. okay? Don't mind at all. I'm just trying to get that. Do you just dig in there and kind of drag it back? Ah, uh, no, you're really close right there. I mean, I if you think you're a little high, stop back here, drag a little of this back, yep. and then just work this down like that. Yep. That way you're not doing that, making another yep. hole. hole. That's, that's what I want. No, do. I like it. It looks pretty good right there. Yeah, I know there's a few little. Yeah, I mean, the foundation. It's not too bad. Not too bad at all. We can go with that right there. Yeah. All right. All right, just gotta show them something real quick. I don't want you to continue to keep doing it. <clears throat> so you, 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 what you're doing is natural. It's normal. You're trying to dig in, like that and then move it like this yep. when you only need a little bit. So, and what that does, like Luke said, it ends up, it'll push a little bit back up under the screed. Like a wave. So when you only need a little bit, I like just, I like just getting the top, okay? So just a little bit of the top. So see, I don't know if you can tell, but that's gonna be a little bit low right there yep. once I pull it up and go straight. So for me to fill that, I would just go, it's okay if it splatters a little yeah, bit. Yeah, it ain't gonna hurt. We'll right, wash it. Wash That's right. Okay. We'll wash it off. Right. But but if I end up doing this, watch, watch over here. Oh yeah. See it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't take much to do that. So just and you'll get used to it. You may splatter us a little bit at first, but okay. the more you do it, the better you get at it, right? right. Just like anything. We won't wash it. Yeah. We're not. No. I, that's what I want to get. We're not that tight. We, we don't call them. Well, if you end up hiring somebody and you're going to teach them, you want to be able to teach them the same way we're teaching you, yeah, right? So, yeah. now, now, if you look at this, oh, hold on. Can you see where we magged that? Yep. See how this is fluffed up a little bit now? Yep. And that's, that's kind of from doing that a little bit too. Yep. And it's a little bit from this being high. So in order to keep that from fluffing up and to keep me from stopping, you're going to want to get at this okay. angle just real quick and just pull a little bit at a 45 away from the wall, yeah. And that helps me as the guy screeding. Like you said, if he stops, we're doing, not doing our job. <laughs> yeah. Or we're low. <laughs> so for me, sorry to stop again, but I just want to tell you, I want to show you something else. For me, screeding, that's building up. See how now it's starting to build up out onto my pad. Yeah, am I just pulling from here then? Yeah. See, for me that's a problem. So if it was you screeding or Luke screeding, I'd be like this. I'd want to get that away, and I'd work my way back like this. <clears throat> and yeah, I screwed that up a little bit. That's my fault. You know, I'll stop and fix it if I have to. But if that's if that's starting to build up out there, then the vibrations making that pad go higher, He's like that. So I want to make sure. This this is what I'm going by this pad, yep. but from from here to here, the next foot is really important too for the guys screeding. What what's hard to notice, and we'll let you run it here right at the end. What's hard to notice is trying to keep that end down, so I'm leaving this line yep. is is hard, even when you have that much concrete on the very end. Yep. Like it's hard to leverage that from here 
and still try to keep that one where it's supposed to so be. You're, you're actually kind of lifting left and right. I'm going back and forth okay. a little bit if I have to. Yeah. yeah. So your job is not only to keep the pad clean, but this next foot for me is really critical. If it builds up a little bit here, like I don't even feel that, yep. but I feel it when All it's right, right there. Yeah, it's yeah. Is that leverage? It, it yeah. Yeah. So now to reach up in here. So pull that back? Yeah. Yeah, a little bit. Ooh, one-handed. You gotta set over for a second, Luke. Yep. Just where I stop there, it yep. seems a little funny. Yeah, I'm not hitting right there. Yeah. The end. pretty good we got a little too much in there but we'll just shovel it out clean it up after it's part of the game sometimes especially when you're trying to teach a new guy Joe is from Ohio and he drove up here to work with us for three or four weeks just to learn the trade he wants to start his own business in Ohio he's retired Air Force 22 years was in survival training taught survival training owns his own like stump grinding business back in Ohio but he loves concrete so he's up here kind of training with us for a few weeks so we're just trying to teach him everything we can in a short amount of time, even though that's going to be hard, but he's picking it up really good. Lou, can you come on this side, the right side for a sec? Yeah. Can you mag that up there a little bit? Yeah. yeah. like that heavier blade. Oh, no. <laughs> Whew, now that's going to do it for the fiber screen. They'll just hand mag that out, get it close. I'll just clean this up and that'll be it for the pour. I bet we'll be probably on that power trial in, in about an hour, I'd say. All right, guys, if you've watched this far, thanks for watching. So Luke and Joe are going to finish this up. They're going to power trial it a couple more times. They're going to put the saw cuts in it, get this floor looking really, really sharp. Uh, so we're teaching Joe. You know, Joe's up here learning with us. If you want to learn how to do concrete like we do, you can definitely check out the Concrete Underground that's in there. I got all my training videos. And I teach you how to do concrete just the same way we're teaching Joe like this, you know, basically, except it's in a training video, it's not live. But it's about the closest thing you can get to learning how to do concrete without actually being right there with us. So check the link for that will be down in the description below. Check that out. And like I said, I'm going to take off and go check out and get some other jobs ready for the for the rest of the week. 
Luke's probably got about another hour here. The pot in the sun over here on the right will be done probably in about 30 minutes, but that little part up on the shade on the left and in the back, that's going to hold him up just a little bit. So about an hour, he'll be done. He'll have it all sawed, and him and Joe will be out of here. Thanks again for watching, guys. We'll see you on the next one.